Hi everybody and welcome to this general playthrough with Tailwinds only for Pro and Expert Division for the Texan Track 9 Hole Cup. We're playing a full 9 of Wiseacre Ranch. Before we look at the replays, please give me a thumb up if you don't mind and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. It helps me out on YouTube a lot, especially if you're enjoying this free content. Timestamps in the video description down below. Remember, we don't know the tournament wins, but these tailwind angles here will give you a good indication of some of the routes you might want to play. Remember to tweak according to your clubs, balls and general play style. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. We do have tailwind here. Obviously, there is a send it option with a berserker if you want to go down that route. Uh, but I'm going to present um, a more standard approach here with a katana. Uh, obviously pick which one you prefer so four and a half top spin three bars side spin to the left red ring touching the rough there up on the top left of the fairway adjustment here is going to be max numbers 20 percent elevation max plus 20 on this one then we once adjusting are going to play with half a ball of curl to the left and of course wanting to get a perfect ball away which we do and we are looking here, as before, and with other wind directions on this hole, somewhere around 350 yards, getting a very nice roll down the fairway. And we get here exactly 350. As you can see, bullseye directly over the pin at plus two is the yardage readout there, and that's what you're gonna use. One bar of backspin on this one. And for a pin check of plus two, I'm playing this one 68% slider. 10% elevation. Leave the ball guide even with Thorn level 8 and 9 just a little fraction short of the cup. Uh, we do come in a little bit pacey here but it is still going to drop but that would be my advice. Obviously if you've got Thorn level 7 then you will have a little bit less ball guide than is on the video. Perfect away here and it is going to bounce very nicely and you will see we get a little zoom in at the end and drops beautifully for an eagle on this par four. But this wind angle lends itself very nicely for the rough bump. Kingmaker in expert division, but in pro you can actually drop down to a katana. And I'm looking to have the bullseye in the, that first cut of rough there. Then adding spin, we need a side spin three ball here. A little bit of top spin and around two and a half bars side spin to the left ball guide to the hole. In this wind angle, one-on-one -on -one works nicely. So for 5.5 wind, I'm going 5.5 rings. In other wind angles, you might need a slightly different adjustment though. Important to dial in once you know what the tournament wind conditions will be. Perfect ball is of course going to be fine. And we uh, catch the rough nicely. Great left can be trouble with this setup. So if you're not feeling comfortable, then go for the bounce up instead. On third hole, I'm going to play with the rock for the ball guide and the accuracy. 4.2 top spin, one bar side spin to the left with a Titan. Obviously in headwind, then you would need to go with a driver with more distance. You can always set up with the quarterback and then do a club switch as well. Top spin is the key here though. Six bars of top spin is great if you have the ability to go with that. Adjust max plus 20. Ball guide is aiming right down the middle of the fairway. And then I'm pushing back up to max here with the rock to make sure I've got some extra distance on my drive. Obviously, in straight tailwind, you can go aggressive down the left-hand side with the berserker. Try and get yourself into a long iron or short iron shot uh, if you've got a good amount of tailwind. But if not, this shot is going to work out absolutely fine. Drive distance, you want around 380 yards. Second shot, you've got a choice of bouncing over from where my target was just a few seconds ago with backspin. Or you go with the rough bump. The rough bump is, of course, the best look at the albatross. Set up with the ball guide in the middle of uh, the pin there. No spin. Ball guide through the hole. In the end, I just shunt the position up to have the inner ring touching the rough rather than in the middle of the rough. Um, because we're going to drop down into the sand on this one and it will cost us a bit of distance. Uh, the adjustment I list here on the notepad is different to the video. It's based off the miss here that I'm going to show you. But generally, I play true club distance, uh, zero elevation for this one. If you're bouncing over, because you'll have obviously a second bounce to deal with, I will play 10 or 15% if you're playing the bounce over shot. But like I said, rough bump is the best way of attacking the pin. Speed is good, just need a tweak to the adjustment on that one. First shot then, we do have tailwind, slight bit of crosswind as well. 
going to play with the katana and the extra mile four and a half top spin three bars side spin to the left this is a little bit of a technical drive but it will set us up very nicely for a rough bump second shot look at the position of the blue ring some of it is in the rough there at plus eight with the extra mile level eight adjustment here max plus ten max plus ten then once we've adjusted we're going to take our shot and adding on half a ball of curl to the left important not to over curl this shot otherwise you will risk clipping the rough with your drive and we are playing on small margins here but that bounces very nicely one ring away from the rough which is ideal and a drive distance of 347 pack the hornet is going to be very useful here because we do need a club with top spin so I'm almost at max distance here, but that's going to be absolutely perfect because we have plus yardage we can use. 4.2 top spin is the spin I'm using. Add your spin first. Set up with the ball guide going through the hole. We do not want to come in short in line. Here I'm going to play true club distance, 10% elevation. So for every yard away from max, I'm going to take away 2% slider. So here this will be... Uh, around 94 or 96% slider plus 10% elevation so making our adjustment here almost at max distance and then we're going to take our shot however sadly here do hit uh, a great ball to the left which is never great but we can see here that perfect would have been in very very nicely indeed great speed and like I said perfect ball there that is going to be in on to the next par three going to play with a power three ball and the sniper here if you have a low level sniper you would need to set this one up uh, with a high powered ball and play with a high power ball or you try and go with a lower power ball with the quarterback a few options on this one and it varies on the wind angle as well adding spin ball guide just through the hole because we're going to adjust into the bunker here max plus 15 i do an intentional 1201 pull angle on this one this was a previously dialed in shot from an old tournament takes me into a little bit of overpower the wind angle can vary of course slightly so i'm going to add that on um just touching the bottom teeth there perfect ball away and we'll see how this one goes you're either going to be using the sniper or the quarterback like i said depending on the wind angle make sure you have the right power ball on so you're not in between clubs Albatross to show you here on hole number six, a very nice wind angle. Still going to play with the Berserker though, because then I can use the Sniper for the second shot. We're going with six top spin and two bars side spin to the right, stretching out and finding my position with the second bounce over the rough and ball guide pointing at the dark bushes up ahead. Max plus 10 is the adjustment here. Max plus 10, power five settings, of course, because we're using a power five ball. Then once I've adjusted my rings, we're going to take our shot directly. Don't need to push up because I want to have a slow max overpower needle without a wall curl to the right. So easy to hit perfect here, which we do. And you'll see the ball will bounce on the fairway very nicely indeed. The top spin will take us over the rough and the hazards there and along the fairway over the other side. Drive distance here going to be uh, a nice long drive of 421 yards. Good thing about power five ball, we can use the sniper. So I'm playing with just over two bars backspin, a little bit of side spin to the right. And you'll see a nice little point here where the ball guide doesn't move around too much. And that's where I'm aiming to land. So it's a nice little uh, sticky spot rather than a funnel. So get a nice consistent landing position here. And we're going to play true club distance, 10% elevation. For every plus yard away from max, we reduce 2.5% on the slider. As a guide, if you don't want to use the slider, though, estimate club distance yourself by finding the min and max line. Perfect ball away, and uh, this one very nicely drops for an albatross on hole number six. As you can see here, nice tailwind, so I'm going to aim straight forward towards the pin not going to play the dog leg here with this wind angle adding spin first six top spin two bars side spin to the right i'm not going to adjust here i simply find my position with the bullseye just left of that big tall cactus there in the middle of the rocks and i'm not going to adjust i'm just going to aim add the spin and fire 
If you have stronger wind than 7.5, I would recommend pulling back between 3 and 6 yards, otherwise you don't want to uh, miss the rough completely. The idea here with our max overpower and a bit of curl to the right is that we do want to clip the rough and roll out. As you could see, I was super close to missing there, so strong winds pull back a few yards. But we can use yardage notes because even though this hole is a dog leg, as we are playing in a direct line from T to the green, we can use yardage notes as it is in a linear fashion here. So I am finding min and max lines though just to help me uh, work out my club distance. In the end, I am um, assuming this is exactly mid. So I'm playing 50% slider, of course, dead on mid distance, 10% elevation, and that was with a drive 375 yards. So you can go obviously plus or minus 2% for every yard. So if you drive, for instance, a little bit shorter, say 372, Three yards shorter is 6% on the slider, so you play 56% slider instead. But here, 375, dead on mid. Aim at the pin, two and a half bars, backspin, pull over the bullseye, and we drop it right at the pin. Once again, a rough bump is the best opportunity here on hole number eight. If you don't feel confident with that, then play a bounce over shot instead, or just play a containing shot with a load of backspin. Going with the quarterback here, um, bouncing comfortably in the centre of the rough, Playing with a low power ball here, Navigator, don't want to be in between clubs. And then we're going to go with Backspin, and just over three bars. And it is just before half a bar of side spin to the right. Uh, setting up there with Spin Added Ball Guide going to the hole. In the video here, I play min plus five. That is unfortunately over adjusted. So my recommendation based on this miss in this particular wind angle, of course, would be min plus zero, just to take a couple of decimals off the adjustment. Perfect ball away. You'll see the speed is good here, but as it's over adjusted, we just miss it on the left. But the rough bump is the best chance once again on this par three. And finally onto hole nine. I had a look at it with the berserker, but there wasn't quite enough tailwind to go aggressively over the rocks on the left. So we're just going to have to go along the right hand side instead. But obviously, if you've got more predominant tailwind angle, go full blast with top spin and left spin over to the left hand side. But here we're going with um, top spin and right spin aim down the middle of the fairway uh, setting up there. Going to push the rings because otherwise the trees and the bushes will be in your way. Max plus 10 on this one. And we want to get um, a fair distance down the fairway just to make the second shot a little bit easier. No curl needed, just a straight up shot. Perfect ball away. You will see it bounces very nicely before the rough and the bunker. And the top spin takes us down the fairway, finding the centre of the fairway. And we've got a drive distance here of uh, 382 yards. From this side, you're going to have to play with a wood club with distance. So it's going to be big dog or cataclysm. In headwind angle, I would bounce over the rough and the sand with top spin and just play to the green safely that way. But if you can reach over here directly nearer the green, then play with back spin and right spin as I do here. Obviously, we're grappling with a low level ball guide here with this club. But really, when you're playing on the right side, it's a very difficult route to secure the albatross. The albatross is, of course, much more attainable playing aggressively on the left, but it's going to be wind angle dependent. From the right hand side here, maximum distance, zero elevation. This one is a fairly flat shot. So max plus zero. If you were playing into any headwind here, I would go 10% on that one just to make sure you're countering any extra wind push. Perfect ball away. And like I said, we're safely onto the green here and we've got a nice putt for the eagle. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.